Hello, uh, my name is Jian, and welcome back to the MySequence Server Learning Course Training today. Okay, so today we will continue with the day 5, and I go ahead to guide you how to use the Navicast tool to work with MySequence Server. Okay, let's close this. Mm, here, this one is my channel YouTube, so you can go there to view where I have a lot of video regarding to learn programming language yes youtube slash c slash gnvs you can go ahead go go to the playlist for my sequence server learning yes here i have some previous video where i will help you to familiar with my sequence server okay so let's open the navicast on the pc Currently, I'm using the version 12 and easy trial license. Double click on the My Sequence Server Connection on the left panel to get access into the database. Okay, so now today I will use this tool to create the table, and after that, I will create a relationship between table by using this tool. I will I will show the same same way. Oh, uh, same way when we, when we have done in the previous day with the my PSP admin. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a new database. You right click on my sequence connection string here and click on new database. Enter any name. For now, I will use. My sequence testing. The character set it should be the UTF-8. You can select another data set type. Collaboration. I will select the UTF-8 Unicode C CI. Click. You can click on the sequence preview here to see the sequence script for creating the database. Yes, go ahead to click on the OK to perform the action. Yes, you can see on the left panel we have a new database my sequence testing. Double click on it to get the access into the database. Yes, you can see here we have some table view function event query report and backup. And now I go ahead to create a table. I will create uh, the first one is category and the second one is product. I will name it category ID. Tie integer. So it should be primary key auto increment. Yes. And you want to add an, one more field into the table, you click on the add field. I will name it the category name Raja and you can set the RAM of Raja here by default, let it by default character sets, I will select the UTF-8 and conversation is UTF-8 Unicode I can add another one uh, Category subscription Raja. I will change the character. Yes, go ahead to click on the set and enter any name for the table. And in this video, I enter it in category. Okay, now add new other table, name it product. Should be primary key, auto increase, category ID. This one is a foreign key with the, 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 the category ID in category table. So now after we I finished creating the, the 
stable product. So I, I will set the, the relationship between this table over category ID. It should be integer and product name, Racha, character set. It should be float. Okay, here you open the product or uh, also able to open the cat category table. You click on, on the tab foreign key, click on it and you select a few. It should be category ID, scheme name, reference schema, it will grab it by default. Table, the reference table, you see, you set the, the relationship into the category table and the view it should be category ID. On the list, so we should recheck. Recheck. Uh, yes, that means you have to enter the data into category table first, and after that, we will get the data, the category ID from category table and enter it into product table. If you enter the, the category ID, that is not existing in the category tables in the product, so it will should display the an error. Category uh, category B or something like that. You can enter any name. Click on the save button here to save. Okay. So now I will temporarily close this one, close this one, and I will open the product to enter the data first for this one. I will try to enter the data for category E1. For now, we have no data in the category table. Product 1. You click on the apply chain here, or also able to control S on the keyboard at the same time. Apply chain, yeah. So if you display the arrows here, it regarding to the control between two table. So you have to open the category table to enter the data into that table first. After that, we will copy the category ID from that table to put into the table. Okay, let's go ahead to close this one first. And we open the category. For example, this one is laptop. Click on save here. Yes. Okay, now we come back to the product table and try to save it. Yes, you can see for now we are able to enter the data by using the category ID one from the category table and it able to save. Okay, open this one, enter new. Save it. Okay, come back to the product. So now, if you want to enter new, you can pick up the category ID from the reference here. Refresh it. Yeah. For now, we have two category. You go ahead to select 
the first one or the second one? Click on the apply. Okay. So now you can open the query, new query here. You go ahead to select the product from as uh, the, the, the data from product table and run the query here. You can see we have two, two, two product into the table. You can also be able to select it from category. Run it. We have two. Okay, so now I will come back to the category here and I try to you can see on the, the menu we have begin transition. What happened with if we use this transition? Okay, so when you start transition by clicking on it here and we can enter the data on this table. But it will temporarily store it into the data table. And now and if you uh, still not click on the commit button here so you cannot see the new 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 data uh, on uh, in that table okay so now we show the demo for you I have if you click on the road back button here so if you can show everything you have entered be before okay so now we show the demo for you click on begin transition and go ahead to add new record here it should be the category three um Samsung another one you can click on apply chain here but okay I will add a new Samsung iPad You come back to the query here and try to run the query. Yes, you see here we still have two to two record. So actually it should be four after we click on the commit button. Try it again. Now I will come back to the category and I click on the commit button here. And after that you come back to the query, it should be four. Okay. And again, start it again. I had to I had three, two, three. Yes, and come back to the query. We still have four record. And now if I come back to category and click on the roll back button here, so it will go ahead to delete to record two temporary records in this table. Yes. Back to this one. Three four. Okay. So I hope this have and after you finish this video, you know how to how to using the Navi cast a tool to work with the MySQL server. So this one is a powerful tool so you should consider to to to, to pay the license for using in the in the future. Okay so I hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you have any question. So after I finish this one I will upload it to the YouTube so it will available for you guys to see. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.